Hey everybody and welcome back. I just wanted to sneak in here for just a few moments because I'm very excited about getting my act together, getting everything organized and pulling, putting some structure to the work that I'm doing on YouTube. So um, what can I tell you? I'm working on a lot of reports. I'm working on a Venus retrograde report that's basically going to span from early April until the beginning of August. So that video is going to be important to actually go back to and I'll probably recommend that at various points in future readings. Also, I will have one on the four days that we're going to be aligned with the galactic center because it's like everything's all happening at once. But it's good to separate them out a bit so that we can, you know, sort of see where it's targeting in our chart. So uh, I'll be I'll be organizing all of those details. I tell you, it's like, you know, it's really hard to just stay on one track because there's so many different things to look at. It, um, it's, it's great. <laughs> uh, but I'm just trying to pick up, you know, the stuff that's really important or the stuff that gives us a better context as to what these weeks are going to be like, because they're going to be pretty intense by the looks of it. Um, and then the other thing as well that I'm going to be doing special, but not really all that special, um, is I, I will always be doing a full moon and a new moon reading because I think it's important that we stay in the rhythm uh, with the moon. It's a good counterbalance to how our thoughts have been accelerated by the amount of media that we consume. So, um, and, you know, speaking of media, that's going to be the topic of a lot, you know, it's going to be one of the issues in all of the reports that have anything to do with Gemini. Venus retrograde is in Gemini. The new moon is in Gemini. There's a lot happening in Gemini. Mercury is Gemini's ruler. And so we're talking about digital technology and communications, broad strokes. It gets more specific in a lot of different areas. You know, and I encourage you to look into them because these are just patterns. Astrology is just patterns and, you know, the recording of certain events at certain times. And we can actually gain, a, you know, a look at the bigger picture of how these energies are constantly running with us. So that's that. And in terms of the regular list of monthly readings, I'll be doing a monthly general, monthly love a monthly career in finance, and then, like I said, the uh, the moon cycles, the new and the full moon. Uh, so far, so good on the dailies, day three. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep chugging along with that. Um, in terms of personal readings, I'm trying to set up my week in a way that makes sense. So um, at this point, I'm thinking that I'm going to be setting aside Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for uh, work to do on personal readings. Now, we don't have to go live with one another, although, you know, that is definitely an option. Um, but, you know, you can just send me your name and your zodiac sign, and then what I can do is I can do like a tailor-made recording and put a link that's just for you on YouTube so that you can view it from there. And just, you know, I'm doing it blind. Sometimes the magic is actually even better in that respect. And it's also a way that I can facilitate more people uh, as I've been getting a lot of requests for personal readings lately with everything that's going on. We're all trying to make sense of things. Um, so um, I'm also going live every Tuesday night on Facebook. Uh, until I can get enough subscribers over on YouTube, hint, hint. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't subscribed, pre please press that little button. I think it might be somewhere over here. So um, much appreciated. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I do need to be really clear that I am not an astrologer, but I love astrology, and I think it's an excellent tool to provide context uh, for our experiences, you know, and, and it gets even more interesting when you're looking at how it's affecting each one of the signs, because each house of the zodiac wheel is, is an archetypical situation or portion of the human experience. So, um, so, you know, we can get really, really specific in terms of where we really need to be focusing our attention in terms of our life path. I don't like to get too woo-woo in, in the way that I describe things. So, um, you know, there is a relationship between fate and free will. And I think that that's, you know, again, the broad, the broad strokes 
of what we've come here to experience. So, um, but I won't go any deeper than that. Um, uh, cause for me, I like to get an idea of what the energetic weather is, you know, um, because we know on certain days it's like, Oh, everybody's a little intense today. Let's, you know, they've got a short temper or wow, we're all having such a good time, you know, like, um, that there are definitely synergies, uh, in the collective as well as, you know, for individuals who are, you know, part of an interrelational group whether you want to call that soul group or whatever. It really doesn't matter. But um, these connections, um, you know, even for the atheist out there, you know, it's, uh, you know, sensation and feeling and the animation that is life is still a mystery to many of us. So um, at any rate, uh, I am very excited to use both tarot and astrology to um, to bring you a fresh perspective on how you are looking at your life and the situations that you're in. And, you know, maybe from that perspective, you can take different action that's going to take you in a new direction that may be really helpful to you. So um, I'm happy to be here uh, to do that in some small way. Uh, it's an honor to share your stories, um, and uh, and I am really grateful for the opportunity to assist you in in any way. You know, so uh, I invite you to play with perspective. Of course, for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> so, if you need anything, just let me know. And in the meantime, please hit subscribe and. Stay tuned because I got a lot of plans in the future and I'm excited to share them and keep building towards it. So here is your reading for today. Hey there Aquarius and welcome back for your daily journal. Um, I will be picking a card for you from the Tarot first, the Lenormand, and the Marshall McLuhan. Distant early warning. Ah, nice. Six of Wands. So there's a feeling of success here, of accomplishment. Um, it's also something that is recognized and, you know, and approved of by your community, your family. Um, you know, you're making, you know, you've You've, you've achieved something. So big pats on the back, celebration. Um, yeah, you've done good. Way to go, Aquarius. All right, so. There's a Lenormand for you. Ooh, money in the bank, fish. That's what the fish represents in Lenormand, is lots of money. Money is coming. Abundance. Mmm, good times. Possibly even some travel. Not sure, though. It's really, it, it's not going to be easy travel. If there is travel, it's not going to be easy. So, I mean, and what? I don't need a card to tell me that, right? So, um, distant early warning deck. Marsha McLuhan. What brilliant tidbit can Marshall bring to your day? There we go. All right. Ooh, lots of sensory stuff from McLuhan today, which makes sense. Thank you for the segue. Uh, into um, the Venus retrograde reports that I'll be preparing, that I have been preparing for days, but I'm going to be starting to shoot today. I'm very excited because... Oh my goodness, the insights that we can get into how to work these next, you know, few weeks, few months uh, to our best advantage. So for you, Aquarius, for depth awareness, the Frenchman says, je sais au fond. So I really have to look this up. I'm a little embarrassed that I have no idea what that is. Um, but Marshall also said auditory. So I know that it's about sound and um 
sound and the and the um, the oral senses are feminine, and the visual is masculine. So, um, so I'm seeing this too as um, you know because the French men has been referred to that this is another throw to um, balancing divine masculine and divine feminine energies. I'll also have a video on us connecting with the galactic center which is going to send a humongous blast of divine feminine energies in tandem with this Venus retrograde and what that means for women and just for all of us who are uh, who are seeking to balance the feminine energies and the masculine energies within. So, uh, have a great day, Aquarius. I'll see you again.